refers to the stone that sits between the tracks. And that ballast has to be replaced over time. It washes away, whatever. So what a car like this allows us to do, we load the ballast up, we go out to the location of the track, we can open up this mechanism here, the ballast comes down, and if the operator can operate the car at exactly the right speed, he can move down the track, lay down the right amount of ballast, and then the guys just have to come along with the shovels and clean it up a little bit. Again, before we had a car like this, maybe that might be. So these two cars were donated to us by the from various sources. This one came from Port Authority of Alabama County. Another major issue in the northern part of the United States was snow removal. Snow sweepers was here's the rules as they existed in most cities. The streetcar company had to clear the track. They also had to clear any place of two to four feet outside of the track. That was their responsibility. So these cars were extremely popular. Um, this, the bristles are actually made of a form of bamboo because they have to be able to give. It's okay. That one. <laughs> they have to be able to give when they come around and do the snow. If you look in here, you see there's a big chain. This chain drives the brushes. So the operator would move the car down the track. He would engage the brush, the brushes would spin, throw the snow off the track, and they would continue on down the line. Then the people who lived in the neighborhood would get their shovels, come out, take the shovel, and throw the snow right back on the track. <laughs> so that, that's the way it works. Now, one of the things we, we talk about when we're here, what happened to the snow? Why did they go away? You know, what was it? You know, we hear all kinds of stories. I, we, we don't know. Nobody probably can tell you exactly 100%, but we know there are certain things that caused it to go away. Number one, the streetcar lines had to maintain their own right of way. They had to put in the tracks, the snow, and everything else. They also paid taxes, because most of them were private companies. What did the bus companies use? The highway that was paid for by the taxes, the streetcar company. That made it very, very difficult for them to be competitive. So that was one, one of the factors that caused that to occur. Another factor was just the growth of highways. You know, these guys were restricted. These guys had to go where the track went. Highways and streets, and, you know, a lot more flexibility. Another factor is sitting right down there in black. Mr. Ford developed the model T. The model T was the first automobile that was, should say, cost effective. Cost effective. People could afford to buy one of those cars. As roads and cars became more popular, people spent less and less time riding. There were other factors. Uh, they were not particularly well managed companies for the most part. In fact, you know, we, kind of, you know, we live in today in the age of the internet. What do we know? One out of every 25 internet companies is successful. But everybody still pours money into the internet for the next uh, Facebook. Same thing happened with the streetcar companies. Everyone, oh, here's a chance to make a lot of money. But they didn't realize they had to manage the whole thing. So 